Hey ABA, it's Mike Lynch and our pig skin preview for 2021 starts today. I am so excited. You know, in our Ackworth community, we have some of the greatest football programs in the state of Georgia, 7A, 6A, single A, and you're gonna to get to meet these coaches on this tour and you're gonna find out a lot. What happens on the field is a big deal to them. We're gonna hear a little bit about that. And then live, we're gonna hear about what happens off the field, how it means something to them. Today, we begin our tour at North Cobb High School with head coach Shane Queen. I want you to listen to my interview with Coach Queen as he tells us about his upcoming Warrior season. First stop on our pigskin preview is at North Cobb High School with Coach Queen. Coach, it is great to see you, buddy. Yes, sir. Thanks. Thanks for having us on. You are, you are coming off a 10-2 and two season. You had a great year last year. Looking back at last year, what are you expecting this year? What would you say? Well, you know, I think the best thing that happened to, to us is our guys have embraced the grind. They have worked hard, had a great offseason, had a great done a great job in the weight room. Our coaches have really done a great job, Coach Ingram and those guys in the weight room. So our guys are prepared. And as you can see, they've been working hard and we're ready to go. As you look ahead to this season, what are you expecting out of this group of Warriors this year? Well, we've got a tough schedule. You know, I think last year, a couple years ago, our region was ranked as one of the top five in the country. And then this year, three of our, our first three home games are Buford, Milton, and then North Gwinnett, so perennial top 10 teams. We just want to be healthy and make sure we improve each week because we've got a tough, uh, also a tough region schedule when it starts against Harrison. So as you look ahead to this season, what's the one word that you think captures this upcoming season? What would you say? I think it's been all about our culture. You know, we've had some kids move in, we had some graduate, but hopefully, you know, you don't, you don't rebuild, you reload. And I think our guys have gotten so used, it's consistency. We've been here for 16 years, our staff is going on 16th season, so our kids know what to expect. Our kids are, you know, doing well in the classroom. We've had seven years of over 3.0 GPA as a team. So the culture, I think, is where you need it. And then, so when a guy comes in, he has to jump in and raise himself to the level of what our kids have done in the past. And that's tradition, it's building tradition and the expectation level of our players. One of the things I love about what Coach Queen does with this group of kids here is that you pour in as much off the field as you do on the field. As you look back on your journey, how glad are you you made that transition to the off the field player? What would you well, say? I think it's the utmost importance. You know, when I first started coaching, I used to look at that scoreboard much more than I do now. I think we've, we've kind of reversed it. We're raising young men and teaching them how to be, you know, great fathers and great young men. And winning's important, obviously, but if you do those things, I think it takes care of itself. And just the people that's been in my life, Pastor Mike that passed away, and then Dallas White and his team, Todd Lawless from uh, Freedom Church, and Dallas that, that you were so gracious to give us about nine years ago. So I think that those guys, iron sharpens iron, and they've made me a better person, which has made me a better leader that obviously trickles down to our coaches and players. And I just, I, I don't take that lightly. I think when our guys come back and stand on the sideline and they talk about graduating from college, being a father, having a great job, those are the things that are most rewarding to me now. The next stop on our pigskin preview tour is at Alatoona High School with head coach Gary Varner. Coach coming off a great year last year, 11 and one, made a run to the Elite Eight before bowing out to Westlake. Coming off that, how have summer workouts gone for you guys? They've been great. Uh, it's been a, it's just been good to get back, everything back a little bit. I guess probably everyone's saying the same thing, a little bit normal. The kids have been excited. I, I think, you know, really just excited to be here every day. So the attendance has been really well, really good. So looking ahead to this season, what, what can people expect from the 2021 Bucks? It, it, it's a different look, you know, um, it, the defense hopefully will be, a, will be stout again this year. We're replacing a lot of brains in the, in the secondary, a lot of seniors that played a lot of football, two, three year starters. Uh, physically, they look pretty good. Offenses, um, you know, we've got some skilled kids back, which is, which is always good. Uh, but, you know, we got to get a quarterback trained up and the offensive line's brand new, so we're kind of just feeling that out right now. 
I know you got some big games right out of the shoot. You got a big rivalry game with Harrison. It's a non-region game. What does what does that rivalry game mean to Alatoona to play a crosstown team like Harrison? Uh, it, it's great. It's great in a lot of ways. Um, being non-region, um, it just gives you a lot of energy. And again, coming off of last year, I think hopefully the student body, the community will be really excited to come out and see that game. We're playing a good team that's well coached, so um, it's a great measuring stick, but it also brings excitement. So it's not just a measuring stick, it's a measuring stick with a little bit of excitement behind it. That's so good. So you guys are, are rolling in and you've got so many components that make up a team. What's one word you hope describes this group coming into this season? What would that word be? I would, I would almost say that the, the word that I want to describe that team is team. We, we, we talk a lot about selfless, and that could be the word, but in today's landscape, and I guess probably every coach in the history has always said in today's landscape, because they think it was different before, but a team of selfless players that are gonna, that are gonna step in a lot of times we talk to the kids about the one-year starter, the kid that stays with the program two, three years and gets their shot. And um, you need to be a little bit selfless. You need to go against the grain to be that kid now because so many kids just pick up and move and change uniforms and stay the course. So, uh, we, you know, this year we've got probably seven or eight seniors that have been waiting their turn and working really hard and been selfless and been committed and, and hopefully that's going to pay off for us. Well, our pigskin preview today is at North Cobb Christian with brand new head coach, Coach Jones. Coach, welcome to our community. We're so glad to have you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. It's a great place. It's an well, unbelievable place. You guys are coming off a nine and three season. How have summer workouts gone as you're getting ready for the 2021 season? Yeah, so it's just, uh, it's been every day. I take it day by day, I think is, and so one day's phenomenal and, and awesome. And the next day we have, uh, you know, either a setback or just, you know, just obstacles. But the kids who are here and the coaches are working extremely hard and doing a, just a fabulous job of uh, doing their part to, to put in work every day. So that's awesome. What, what, can, what can our community expect from this 2021 season from you guys? What are you expecting out of these Eagles? Uh, well, we have a, a ton of exciting players, uh, just great, phenomenal kids. Um, so we are excited about hopefully putting a product on the field that everybody's proud of, um, winning as many games as we possibly can and competing at a high level. Um, obviously discipline, obviously we're gonna try to control everything we can tr control to put ourselves in a great position to win. That's so. awesome. So as you think about this season, if you could think of one word you want to describe your team, if, if people were watching and said, man, this word describes that group of players. What would that word be? Battle is the word. So we're gonna do battle and we're gonna study, we're actually gonna study some of the scriptures, uh, study Gideon and yep. how Gideon uh, limited his troops to, I think, and uh, we, we got 30 players and so yeah. it's very yeah. comparable to that. And so we're gonna study the Bible and what it means to do battle um, spiritually uh, and then what does it mean to do battle on a football field as a young man. All those many things that are gonna hopefully teach our kids how to um, how to live life, you know, once they graduate and move on uh, and this game ends, ends for them, so. I love that. You know what I love is this community is full of great coaches. And today you've heard about their upcoming seasons. Now I want you to welcome to the stage and meet them personally. So would you give these guys a great round of applause?